out again. It's a red stick. This is my DIY laser cutter project. It is still in development. I had almost finished the mechanical structure of this project, but the electronics and the firmware parts are still pending. It is basically a two axis movement machine. As you can see, I can move the X axis like this, and I can also move the Y axis like this. To build the structure of this machine, I had used this V slot aluminum extrusion profiles of size 20 by 20 millimeter. There are five of them as you can see four for the base structure and one is for the X gantry. And all these four corner brackets that you can see on all the four corners that are white in color, these are printed in 3D printed in PEGG material on my desktop 3D printer. Now the most important part for both the axes as you can see I am using NEMA 17 stepper motors. So one for the X axis and one for the Y axis movement. So these stepper motors are very commonly available. These are basically used on 3D printers. Since I already had these two available as a spare part in, in my inventory from my old 3D printer. So I'm using these two into this project. To control the movement along X axis and Y axis, I am using this GT2 belt of width 6 mm as you can see along with GT2 timing belt pulleys that is attached with both the axis that you can see over here. These pulley and belts are very commonly available on the internet. You can easily buy these products online. For the smooth movement of the axis on this V slots aluminum profile, I had used these four palm wheels on each setup. So there are 12 of them and also these palm wheels are very easily available online. Apart from that, all these yellow parts that you can see on my laser cutter like these brackets, this bracket and all the four leg supports that you can see in yellow color are 3D printed using PLA material on again my desktop 3D printer machine. This complete project I had designed inside Autodesk Fusion 360. So if you want to learn Autodesk Fusion 360 and want to design a product like this, check out my other videos onto my channel. There is a playlist on Fusion 360 where you will find lots of Fusion 360 content, practice exercises and video tutorials. So please do check out. In this project, there is still a huge scope of improvement that I will be working in the coming time and will keep you posted. And to get the progress update, you need to subscribe to my channel. And also press the bell icon so whenever I will posting the new videos, you will be getting notified. So keep learning and keep building. See you again. Bye bye.